good evening ananya pandey you have your interview on 6th november in new delhi and yes, uh, this is your first mock with us with me yes sir yes sir very good can you please tell me about yourself yes sir sure okay yes. so my name is ananya pandey yeah. i was yeah. born and brought up in delhi and mm. i did my masters in history from ambedkar university delhi and my graduation mm. in history as well from lakshmi bai college delhi university and uh, i also qualified for the ugc net examination uh, 2024 only and uh, my both of my parents are government retired government employees my father was a principal at a government school and my mother retired from the post of deputy manager from punjab national bank and some mm. of my hobbies are spending time with dogs uh gardening and taking care of my health so yes yeah, sir yes mm. now why do you have to tell about that uh, that lecturership why what is the advantage okay, of sir. telling that i so think i told you last time it's, last time itself i think i told you or some other candidate don't no, talk sir, about it me. unless not to you acha do not tell about that unnecessarily when did you complete your post graduation Sir, twenty twenty three. Okay, only one year. Not a big issue. What are the exams you have written so far? Sir, largely I was preparing for the UGC NET and uh, for simultaneously these exams as well. So basically, sir, UGC NET is a qualifying paper, and all what I studied for that is also can also be corresponded for for studying for these exams. So which is why I I mentioned UGC NET. it's no, just a qualifying you, paper true but here we are not going to ask history questions very rarely they okay, will ask, they may ask it depends so mm -hmm. it has got not not much of a relevance with the federal bank interview where it is done on a very fast rate 5 minutes only 10 okay, minutes sir. only they will talk and uh, there is no time okay, for discussing sir. about history with you okay yes sir now why did you choose history as your subject normally only dull headed people choose history as a subject what made you choose that how many yes, marks sir. did you score in your plus 2 sir actually it is commonly believed that history and subjects like these are for lazy and dull people but uh, i took this as 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 out of my own choice i secured complete 10 cgpa in my class 10 and after that i opted for arts Uh, i had humanities with mathematics as my background and uh, after that i adopted i opted for history as my graduation subject because i had a keen interest in, in that subject and uh, considering the contemporary context i think having an understanding of history is becoming more and more relevant so uh, i would like to reiterate one of the historians who said that if you do not have the knowledge of your past you cannot have the knowledge of your future so this these are my reasons for adopting for opting for history and i secure 90% in my plus 2 good you remembered that and told correctly how many marks yes, did you score in your ba history percentage uh sir it is about uh 60s uh 65 to 70% it's in cgpa 7.2 very good what about you i was the and i was the second topper of my course in my college ma uh sir 7 cgpa good excellent um now what is the what is of historical importance happening in russia now sir russia yes we are seeing that russia is taking a dominant stand in today's uh, geopolitics and uh, i would like to take it back to the cold war era days not before that so in the 1990s when ussr got disintegrated into russia so there were various aspirations which were very aspiration of being a world leader which was left uh, behind after its disintegration so i think russia is trying to regain that position and uh, uh, looking at its attacks on ukraine and other areas being very vocal of its policies even even threatening of nuclear attacks 
So I think it is this internal aspiration of being a world leader that Russia is trying to revoke in today's time. Can you add some more po important points? Um, so we have not touched do, on uh, the important points so far. Uh, can I sir get some hints if so I could speak on it? See, you have not mentioned about the BRICS summit. You have not mentioned about oh, the visit yes, of the sir, Prime yes, Minister. Sir. You are not mentioned yes, about sir. the visit yes, of sir. Prime Minister with the Chinese Premier. What yes, type yes, of sir. historian are you? You should okay, cover sir. important points first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. So historically, we have shared really good relations with Russia, uh, starting from uh, 1947 itself, from our independence. And we took the uh, policy of planning, uh, five-year plans from Russia. And Russia has always been our partner when it comes to geopolitics and international politics. And recently, we uh, our prime minister went to Kazan in BRICS for BRICS summit. And uh, in in that summit only, uh, our prime minister met the uh, Chinese counterpart, Mr. Xi Jinping, the president of China. And it is also believed that uh, in reconciling in the process of reconciliation between India and China, Russia has played an important role because he want to maintain relation, good relations with both the countries, India and China, who are some dominant players in Asia. In what way the meeting with Chinese Premier is relevant or important for ourselves? Yes, sir. The meeting with Chinese Premier is very important. Because with China, we share relations on multiple spheres, be it trade, uh, starting from trade to uh, relations between people, our border-to-border -border ties. And also when it comes to military, we we see a lot of expenditure, uh, military expenditure on, on, on our, our army being stranded there at Ch Chinese frontiers. So I would like to speak it with reference to the 2020 attacks in Galvans. And since 2020 to 2024, almost five years, we have not spoken with China on one on one basis. So this meeting is like a icebreaker between both the countries, India and China. Uh, so as to have a more cordial and cardiac relation of mutual trust and responsibility. Okay, the point told by you is okay, but you should call it as a line of control. That yes, area. the LOC. I, yeah, and another one. Uh, somewhere I read, uh, this is more important considering the fact the, the war we had with China in the year 1962. So yes, the, sir. the two top people of the countries have not met for a long time, probably 14 or 15 years. I'm not sure about that. Please no, check sir, it out. No, no. They oh. met in Mahabalipuram and uh, Wuhan. Achha, achha. They met now. Oh, Since very Galvan, good. they have not met PM Modi and Xi oh, Jinping. Achha, achha. Five years, oh. they, they haven't met. So now, but this, but this line of control problem. Line of actual control. Been... That is, yeah, not line actual of control. control. Line, line of, of control, control, control Pakistan. Yes, sir, LAC. Achha, achha. I'm oh. sorry too. Yes, LAC. Achha, achha. Actual control. It has not been sorted out and. From that angle, this is very important. Good. Very good. You are a history student. Yes, sir. But I I had economics and mathematics in my plus two. So that I I have other options as well open for me as, as careers. I am purchasing a cricket bat and a ball. Okay. From a shop. Mm-hmm. The cost of both of them is one rupee ten paise. Okay. The cost of the ball is one rupee more than the ball. Okay. What is the price of the ball? Uh, one rupee more. Price of ball, sir. Price of ball could be. Uh, ranging, I'm not sure about it. Could it could range between point point one to point nine? So so as to balance it with bad that it is one rupee more. This is your knowledge regarding max is not adequate. 
This is the so you question. sent this question in the group as well. Yeah, but I yeah. Not in spite of it, you are also. In spite so of it, you are not. I know the answer is point five, but I was not clear at that time also. Listen, you, you. This is the standard of students. I am giving materials. I am giving questions. You are not going through the questions. You are not preparing for the questions. Then I am purposely repeating the very same question. Can I not ask you some tough so questions? I know the answer. It's it's uh, it's point five, but I was not able to get it at point that five, time. Also, point five so means I... wrong. Point five means wrong. Point zero five. Point zero five. Yes, sir. So this doesn't matter. I'm not threatening you, but be no, alert. No, sir. It's okay. Mm, yes, good. sir. Very good. And you are not an ordinary girl. You are not coming from a, say, a family living in a Chaprasi house or some other place. No, you are daughter of a principal of a school. So your standard yes, must sir. be very high. Yes, sir. Please tell me how you will fit in this role. This role requires more of marketing. Are you good in marketing? Uh, yes, sir. I think with adequate training, right knowledge and inculcating skills over the period of time, I would be uh, efficient in that role also. So I think, yes, I can perform the role of marketing as well. So which shop do you go quite often? Uh, sir, grocery stores near our home. Which product do you purchase uh, quite sir, often? products of so products of everyday use okay. uh, from yes sir imagine you are the grocery dealer and this Mogan has come there for the first time and um, you are going to sell the products uh, to him please talk mm -hmm. to him okay sir so first of all I would like to choose a product that I am going to sell to the person uh, supposedly it's a sunscreen that I'm going to sell and I will try to have the right knowledge of the product and what all ingredients that it has so that I'm able to express it to the person uh, with the right knowledge and also I would like to identify the person who who would uh, like to uh, like to use my product for instance I see someone uh, I will I will not approach a young young boy a small child for instance that uh, Anand, so to buy my product stop. i can uh... ananya stop irrelevant okay sir how many marks do you expect for this question answer out of 10 so i have no idea i will give you six marks but give a fail mark for that because you are not trying to tell the important points really see i wanted you to speak as a shopkeeper i never wanted you to tell i will choose a product no 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 straight away go yes okay, sir okay. hello hello sir you have come for shop for the first time welcome welcome sir welcome yeah ah yeah you asked last time when you visited you asked about this uh, sunscreen uh, lotion or this it's come this is the product why don't you buy this we are giving you Discount of 10% for the last two days. Please avail it. Something yes, like sir. that you must stop. Okay, sir. So that way, you, you, you this lack uh, the preciseness of the answer. Doesn't matter. Please prepare. Mm -hmm. You are capable of doing it. Because one, you are a girl from Delhi. Two, you are good in English. So you can prepare. You That is why I wanted you to relate yourself to the near shop you are visiting quite often so that you will choose okay, one sir. product and talk. Could you follow? Mm -hmm. Very yes, good. Yes, sir. That's really nice. Now, please tell me what you know about Federal Bank. Okay, sir. So, Federal Bank is a leading private sector bank and it has its roots in uh, 1931 from where it started as Travancore uh, Bank Limited and by 1945 late Sri K.P. Holmes took over its uh, as as the chief executive in 1945 and he's considered to be the real founder of Federal Bank and uh, 
by 1947 it was rechristened at federal bank limited so uh, i also i also learned about the core values of the federal bank which is which is based on the cares framework that is committed to excellence agility risk Uh, relationship orientation ethics and sustainability and uh, talking about the vision of the federal bank it is to become the most admired bank which is digitally enabled and focus on msmes and talking about the business of a federal bank it is about uh, uh, 4.87 lakh crores and we have served more than 8.5 uh, lakh 8, 18.5 1.8 Five crore happy customers, and we have fifteen thirty seven banking outlets, fourteen fifty four ATMs, and we are on on the path of constant growth. Hmm. This one you managed uh, well, not bad, but still. Um, what is the difference between State Bank of India and Federal Bank? okay sir so state bank is a large is the largest public sector bank of our of our country while a federal bank is is also a, a leading leading private sector bank uh the market that sbi owns the the amount of customers that sbi deals with is about it could be from the range of 25 to 30% while market of federal bank is comparatively less as compared to sbi however uh, co considering the growth sustainable growth that federal bank has shared in all these years i can see federal bank to become a leading private sector bank one the one who is at the forefront in coming years so i think uh, sir these are the pointers what are the things you prepared for this interview so i studied banking aware awareness and some economic concepts acha can you explain what is inflation and how it is tackled by countries what is yes sir inflation now in our country okay so so inflation is a economic phenomenon wherein uh, too few too much of money chases too few of goods and there is a drastic increase a uh, a uh, a gradual increase in uh, in the prices of goods and with the amount of money that we used to purchase it earlier if we need to pay more for it so uh, considering inflation it is considered uh, to be a a good phenomena for our economy for it translates into growth however uh, inflation over a long period time or a long period of time is considered negative so uh, Uh, our our country tries to maintain inflation in the range of four percent plus minus two, and presently I think inflation is about five point five point six. And to tackle inflation, we we in our country we have the monetary policy committee who looks into these in inflation numbers and keeps it in the in our in our range that is of four percent plus minus two. at the same time our government also goes for fiscal policy that is the policy of taxation so as to ensure that inflation is is in the range what uh, and, mind, and also what your like, friend what your friends are doing what are your friends doing nowadays so one of my friend is uh, is a social media influencer the other is working in a corporate sector as as she is an engineer and other one is also working as in a private company what is meant by social media influencer in what way he will be of use for banks yes sir so social media influencing is a new trend which has come up with as come up along with increasing uh, usage of social media uh, it has it has perpetrated uh, the every every age group of our country be it young youngsters the adults and senior citizens so uh, in this social media influencing various companies reach out to these people with good number of followers so as to endorse their products and i think banking sector could also make use of this uh, social media influencing 
uh, in the similar way they can also their products in uh, they can also promote their products via these influencers and we can make sure we uh, one of RBA, the of reserve this, bank of india reserve bank of india and amidab bachchan which uh, ad are you remembering so uh, the ad i am able to remember i am able to remember the tag line uh, savdhan rahein satark rahein it is related uh, to uh, real, it is related to uh, giving people cautions uh, which are which which people face when it comes to digital banking and these fears so as to uh, prevent frauds and other other kinds of ill practice ill ill practices uh, rbi rbi took amitabh bachchan as their brand ambassador to create awareness mm -hmm. what is rbi kehta hai rbi kehta hai uh, so i i need to read about no, no. it doesn't matter doesn't matter very good best wishes you are done well but you can do still more better we'll meet next time okay sir thank you thank you uh so is it related to the to my background that i am masters in history so uh, i mean yeah, i am the questions will be now. based yeah the questions will be based on your subject mostly and um, sometimes it can be not related to yours also it all depends on our faith today when you came for a change i wanted to go into history and came out of it because i did history way back in 1988 ma history so that way um, i of course i did not want to go into the details of uh, ancient history this that and all i could have asked but i did not go into it but this is how the interview will go if i if uh, i am there in interview board in federal bank this is how i will ask because these are the things that are happening right now before our eyes and are of historical importance and you managed well nothing wrong but sometimes improvements can always be there okay yes sir yes sir don't worry you will be selected other things remaining constant if you go as a confident person what is your height and weight so i am 5 5 and about 60 kgs no problem fair enough that can i mean this must be okay because i am asking because in one or two cases people were rejected because of their height being low they the after talking so, to a girl uh, very, talking to a girl for 30 minutes they rejected her stating you are kiddish so that is what it is so in your case it will not in your yes, case sir. it will not uh, but one talking... because you are talking with confidence and your personality also must be okay other things remaining constant best wishes thank you uh, so just to add to what what you said i think so my qualifications i think are are in this way only that i should not be boxed in this in this in this understanding that she is a just a history student and what what is history it is nonsense for banking and other sects <laughs> other sectors Maybe, no no so, sometimes so i had economics no, no. Some, so, sometimes they can ask you like that what are you going to do here your msc uh, ma history sir, do you know sir do you know our rbi governor mr shaktikant das he is a master in history too and now he is governing the country yeah you know it it can happen i am not telling i don't know i don't know that but in interviews this is the lead question they give for a boy yes sir i am ready to face it yes sir the, the, i for, know for for nazima agriculture student they blatantly tell them we don't want any agriculture student now we are less interested in like it's a private bank they can talk whatever they want yes sir so uh, but one thing it is for you to justify you are capable of communicating to customers satisfying them about your uh, their uh, your sales ability see it is not like mm -hmm. supposing i you, it, you have very good skill in music i can ask you to sing and check it up 
and if it is dance i can ask you to dance and check it up but this sales is a it's a, like a drama you are an actress mm-hmm. you have to act and then impress the listener i hope yes, you sir. understand you will do it don't worry best wishes yes sir will, you improve your skills by the time you, you come sir. next time thank you bye so uh, uh... Uh, so major pointers being uh, marketing i have to work on marketing and other things marketing, and also the content of the federal bank yeah yeah marketing you are lacking banking i have not gone into banking because they don't ask banking and all nowadays within 10 minutes how many banking questions can they ask tell me yes sir so it depends okay, sir. sometimes sometimes they ask sometimes they don't ask it depends today what happened we don't know today this has what happened in kolkata that's why i went by that pattern okay sir okay very good yes sir you you, you are one of the prospective <laughs> candidate i am not seeing you i need not see you but the thing is the way you talk the confidence with which you speak that will determine your success Yes, sir. Okay. Best wishes. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Next, Mr. Mohan. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, 